Hey there, Clinton Isaac from the Australian Fly Fishing Lodge. In the next series of clips, I'm going to be giving you tips on saltwater fly casting to help you get prepared for your trip and also you can use in other destinations that you go. So the first thing I want to talk about is line speed. Very, very important. For a lot of us, we've come from a freshwater fly fishing background where the rods are light, the lines are light and the flies are light. When you get into the realms of saltwater fly fishing, the rods are heavier, the line's heavier, and the fly, fly is heavier also. So what we need to do in the salt is we're casting into a lot of wind normally, and we also need to make a fast presentation. So your standard cast that you may be used to doing in the fresh water again is this flicking of the wrist motion and just kind of putting it out there. In the salt water, very hard to make a fast presentation like this. And also in the wind, the wind's just going to be fighting your line. Very, very hard to cast. What we need to see is a lot of line speed. So pick it up, push it forward. Pick it up, push it forward. These rods, these saltwater rods are built to cast, built to be pushed. So once again, get away from just flicking the wrist like this and really rip the line out and push it forward. Rip it out and push it forward. Line speed is the start of everything for the casting. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Belgium cast. I personally think it's the uh, best cast to use in salt water, basically at all times. Um, the old standard 10 to 2 cast, I mean, you can get away with it 10 to 2, 10 to 2, but the problems arise is when you, you're faced by wind, and winds on your shoulder. A lot of the time fishing with us on the skiffs, the winds on your shoulder. So if you're doing the 10 to 2 motion, you've got a heavy line and a heavy fly, that fly is going to be coming right towards you, right towards your face there, right towards the side of your head. So you'll be more concentrating on the casting rather than concentrating on the fishing on hand. So the Belgium cast is basically, a, or a constant tension cast, or we like to call it, is an under, and overcast, an under and overcast. Basically the fly is traveling up and over you at all times with constant tension, which is great also for using a weighted fly. Because if you're doing this with a weighted fly, the fly can tend to drop, where this way, under and over, it's constant tension. You're using the weight of the line and the fly to bring it over. It's not a roll cast, so to speak, where I see a lot of people when they're first trying this, they're just flicking their wrist like this, flicking their wrist like this. It's not the correct way. You need to extend the arm fully out and come over and release. Come out and fully release. Come under and fully release. With a lot of line speed again, the Belgium cast is a great cast. Okay, a lot of the times on the skiff, poling around, the guides can get very close to the fish. Some of the casts can be 10, 20 feet, and the fish are right here. A lot of people struggle with the short cast. They tend to go to this motion, again, where, with the heavy fly, and they're flicking at the wrist, ting, 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 with that heavy fly. The presentation slaps down very hard. The easiest and most effective way, if you've got a fish out the front of me, like here at, say, 15 feet, you basically have the fly hanging down like that, you roll the, through the hands, Belgium cast, and roll the line through the hands like that. I'll show you that again. Or I'll show you another way. If you're holding the fly in the hand on the front of the skiff, you throw it out, Belgium cast, let line run through the hands, shoot it out. That's gone 15 feet, lands very softly. This is a great short cast. Same again, I see too many people doing this for the short cast with the heavy fly and it's slapping down. You can basically pull your line back. It's like almost again, like a water haul like I was talking about. Line comes through, Belgium cast, duck down, shoot it out. That's a great short cast right there. Okay, the next uh, cast I wanna talk about is the water haul cast. This is another great effective cast in very windy conditions. Basically, it's when you land the fly on the water, you use the water to load the rod. 
So you drop the fly down, you can see the rod loading there, you pick it up with your Belgium cast and shoot it out. You know, in very windy conditions, if you're doing the Belgium cast and you're casting, you know, you are battling and the fly swinging a lot in the air. I mean, the boat's moving, the fish is moving and things change a lot quickly. So with the water haul cast, you can land the cast down, pick your, pick your distance, load the rod and then pull it through and one shot and you're out on the fish. Very, very effective, the water haul cast. All right, the backhand cast. This is a great cast when the fish comes on the opposite side of you on the front of the boat. I'm a left-hander, so say for instance, the fish comes on the right, that's my good side. I can make a, a cast to right-hand side. So what about when the fish comes on the left-hand side? Sometimes things are happening so quick, by the time you turn your body around and make a cast, plus you're also casting on the inside of the boat, which is, isn't always the best thing, we want to do the backhand cast. I see, once again, a lot of people with the backhand cast, it can be a bit confusing, it throws you off because you go, oh, there's a fish on the other side. Um, I find some people kind of do this and then just slap the line like that, like down like that, like this. That's not really casting, it's kind of throwing. Or they do this over their head and they're ducking down, the fly's coming at their face very hard again. For me, the most effective way is to pick your spot over in this on this side here, your good side, make a good solid cast. Don't even worry about the back cast like this and right at the end, shoot it out like that. And that's a nice laid down cast. I'll show you that again. And if the fish is closer, you can do it the same. But you always should concentrate on putting it on your normal side to make the cast on the backhand side. So I'll do a short one now. If the fish is real close, and then I can just go like that. Or if the fish is, say, 50 feet away, I pick my spot on the left-hand side like that, and then shoot it out like that. And the backhand cast. So it's not merely just flicking and throwing it like that. Make your cast on your good side and then shoot it out on the other side. All right, so stepping away from the sand flats, we do a lot of fishing in the mangroves for barramundi and mangrove jack. They live deep in the mangroves a lot of the time and around snags. So you're often faced with like a curtain of trees or mangrove trees. Um, a lot of the time we need to skip that fly under and get the, get the fly underneath to where the fish are. So if you've got this big blanket of trees there and you're doing your normal Belgium overhand cast, you're constantly going to be hitting those trees and not being able to skip under. What you need to do is like a low projectile skipping kind of cast to get the fly under. The flies do have weed guards, so you know, they roll around the sticks and the timber, that's just fine, it'll pull out, pull out nicely. So we, we want to get away from this kind of Belgium cast now, and we want to get into this low cast, where we come down and shoot the fly in low. Come down and shoot the fly down low. You need to be at this level down here, and your rod needs to finish here. I can come down low, but if my rod finishes up here, look, I'm in the trees. But if I come down low, rod low, I can skip it under there. This is a cast we'll use a lot of the time fishing with us for barramundi and mangrove jack. 